This is the captain. Our destination is the Talos Star Group. Our time warp, Factor 7. They are the fearless leaders whom we would follow to the end of the universe. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 starship captains. She'll make 0.5 past light speed. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. I've made a lot of special modifications myself. For this list, we're looking at memorable captains or those people who are in charge of any fictional spaceship from both film and television. In the words of a certain entry on this list, engage. All decks have acknowledged, sir. Engage. Number 10, Taranga Leela, Futurama. And the winner is Leela. Launching our list is the one-eyed animated captain of the Planet Express ship. Hello, I'm Leela, captain of the Planet Express delivery ship. A foil to the goofier characters of Futurama, Leela is often found to be the voice of reason among the group and provides guidance and a moral compass for Fry and Bender. Leela, I just want you to know that even though you're mean, you're the best captain ever. Yeah, you're one dynamite lady. Can we have the week off? No. As strong a leader as she is a close friend, she often puts up a hard exterior that hides a soft heart. Just get to work. Number nine, Jason Nesmith, Galaxy Quest. Jason Nesmith! Yeah! A parody of some other shows found on this list, Galaxy Quest follows the story of a group of actors from a hugely popular TV show. All systems are working, Commander. I don't like it. As they are transported across the galaxy to help a group of peaceful aliens who don't understand that their newfound heroes have never actually been in a starship. Mathazar, the, uh, there's no such person as Captain Taggart. My name is Jason Nesmith. I am a, a actor. With all of them completely out of their element, Tim Allen's Nesmith must embrace the characteristics of his character, as well as those of a starship captain, to put aside his own selfishness and truly become a brave leader. All right, Tommy, take us into the black hole. Number eight, Captain Lone Star, Spaceballs. Lone Star, you've got to help me. Please, save my daughter. She's being attacked by Spaceballs. Spaceballs? Forget it. Too dangerous. Besides, I'm already numero uno on Dark Helmet's hit list. In this spoof of the Star Wars series, Lone Star is the captain of a spaceship that looks eerily like a Winnebago. Radar repaired, sir. And we're picking up the outline of a... Winnebago. Winnebago? Lone Star. Directed by the hilarious master of genre parody, Mel Brooks, this sci-fi comedy sees Bill Pullman's Lone Star as a gun for hire who is tasked with rescuing the princess of a planet held hostage by the evil leader of Planet Spaceball. It's me! It's us! Lone Star, oh, how did you find us? No time to talk, come on! On the journey, Lone Star finds himself falling in love, learning the ancient power of the Schwartz, May the Schwartz be with you. And discovering that he is also a prince, so he and the princess can ride off into the sunset, or whatever there is in space. That's what this says. I'm an honest-to-God prince. Will you marry me? Well, let me think about it. Yes. Number seven, Zap Brannigan, Futurama. Well, if there's anything that we I can... I'm in command here, Zap Brannigan. A general in the Democratic Order of Planets, or Duke, Brannigan is, without a doubt, the most incompetent entry on our list. Yeah, it's great ordering people around and stuff, but through it all, you're completely alone. However, what he lacks in actual leadership skills, he makes up for with pure zeal and arrogance. The Democratic Order of Planets prohibits interfering with undeveloped worlds. It's a little rule known as Brannigan's Law. Fancying himself an intergalactic playboy, Brannigan prides himself on his bad boy reputation and unbridled sex appeal that win him countless admirers and critics alike. <laughs> well, I have studied abroad. Or two. <laughs> Whether we love to hate him or hate that we love him, we can't imagine a universe without him. Captain's Journal, Stardate, uh... Oh, April 13th. April 13th, point two. Number six. Mal Reynolds, Firefly, and Serenity. Captain Reynolds, welcome aboard. 
Joss Whedon's notoriously short-lived sci-fi western is renowned for featuring an ensemble cast of wonderful and diverse characters on board the Firefly-class ship called Serenity. The lion said they were going to waltz through Serenity Valley, and we choked it with those words. We've done the impossible, and that makes us mighty. As the captain of the ship, Mal Reynolds stands out for being as tough as he is passionate. If I start fighting a war, I guarantee you'll see something new. The ship is as much a character as the rest of the family of people that inhabit it, and Nathan Fillion's captain has no shortage of love for both. Y'all got on this boat for different reasons, but y'all come to the same place. So now I'm asking more of you than I have before. Maybe all. This is a fact he proves time and time again, as he is willing to put the lives of his friends before his own. There's a lot of fine ways to die. I ain't waiting for the Alliance to choose mine. Number 5. Catherine Janeway, Star Trek Voyager I'm Captain Catherine Janeway of the United Federation of Planets. The captain of the USS Voyager, Catherine Janeway, finds herself in a terribly difficult situation when her ship and crew are accidentally propelled several thousand light years away from home into an unmapped quadrant. You attacked one of our crew members, and you've lured us into this asteroid. Why? Fortunately, Janeway capably leads her crew through the Delta Quadrant, discovering new species and challenges for them to face. Commander, prepare to initiate attack maneuver Kappa 010. A true leader through and through, her wisdom beyond her years allowed her to thrive as an officer and eventually become a Starfleet Admiral. Just lucky, Admiral. Let's hope that luck holds. Janeway out. Number four. Han Solo, Star Wars The Original Trilogy. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Chewie here tells me you're looking for passage to the Alderaan system. Scoundrel, loner, nerf herder, call him what you will. I think you just can't bear to let a gorgeous guy like me out of your sight. The Harrison Ford role that propelled the actor to superstardom is known the world over as one of the most famous space captains around. All right, kid. You better be right about this. Upon our first encounter with the smuggler, he's a rebel without a cause who only cares for money. Well, that's the real trick, isn't it? And it's going to cost you something extra. 10000 all in advance. 10000 It's throughout the epic saga of films that the captain of the Millennium Falcon joins the rebels in the fight for freedom while also falling in love with a princess and proving himself a worthy ally and hero. Hey! Hey! I knew you'd come back. I just knew it. Well, I was going to let you get all the credit and take all the rewards. Hey, I knew that was more to you than money. Number three, William Adama, the Battlestar Galactica franchise. This is the Admiral. You've heard the news. You know the mission. Tougher than a $2 stake, Adama proved himself a worthy leader of his ship and crew, leading them to victory through various situations, even when outnumbered and outgunned, in this reimagining of the 70s TV series. Admiral, don't you? I'd be damned if I wanted to let a guy like you run me off my own ship. His brilliance in battle often came at the cost of his personal life and relationships. It's one thing to push the crew, it's another thing to break them. In spite of this, the majority of his crew recognized him as one of the bravest men they had ever met. If the ship poses a threat to us, we have to eliminate that threat. Even during a time of mutiny against him, several crew members remained loyal to his leadership and his service to the ship continued. You gotta make the old man look good. I always look good. Number two, James T. Kirk, the Star Trek franchise. Lights. An explorer and an adventurer through and through, Kirk is renowned for being one of the most popular captains in the entire Star Trek franchise. This is the captain of the Enterprise speaking. It is the custom of Earth people to try and avoid misunderstanding whenever possible. He performs all the duties necessary of a captain, but he manages to do it with a certain style. We destroyed your space buoy as a simple act of self-preservation. When we attempted to move away from it, it emitted radiation, harmful to our species. A character that defined the genre of science fiction and space travel on TV, Kirk set the benchmark through the series and its large canon of subsequent films. Captain, it was never my intention Not to- Not Captain. I saved your life, Spock. You wrote a report, I lost my ship. 
His qualities as a leader, a man, and a friend earn him a place just short of our top spot. All decks, stand by. Captain out. Before we salute our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hey, if it isn't Star Prince. Star Lord. Oh, sorry, Lord. Oh, yeah. Apparently, you can't be president with a whole brain. That's oh. crazy. Well, some of you may have figured out we're not home yet. We're only halfway there. What? Mother's interrupted the course of our journey. I'm Captain Amelia. Later, if you run into the Protean Armada, nasty business, but I won't bore you with my scars. You've met my first officer, Mr. Arrow. Jedi, I can't shake them. Prepare for a backward loop. <laughs> to Captain Picard. Go ahead. Number one, Jean-Luc Picard, Star Trek The Next Generation franchise. Mr. Data, put Starfleet frequency 1486 on audio. Aye, sir. One of the most celebrated captains at Starfleet and just edging out Kirk. Admiral Hayes disagrees. Picard embodies all the qualities necessary of a great captain. Captain. Jean-Luc. The reports of my assimilation are greatly exaggerated. He is well-educated, a fierce leader, infinitely wise, and his courage and commitment to his crew and ship are matched only by his passion and love for exploration and discovery. I will not sacrifice the Enterprise. We've made too many compromises already, too many retreats. His steely guile is an affront to some. What I would like is to be returned to my ship. But those who have the privilege of calling him a friend know that his compassion is as boundless as space itself. USS Enterprise now under command of Captain Jean-Luc Picard. I relieve you, sir. I stand relieved. Do you agree with our list? What daring on-screen leaders and space explorers did we miss? I'm surprised they didn't ask you to do it. Well, who says they didn't when I ain't crazy? You're the respectable one, remember? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Thanks. You're welcome. And may the Schwartz be with you. What a world, what a world.